we were talking about all the colleges uh, you know we talked about the all the iims iims who offer you a you know five year uh, program followed by nmims for the bba program we'll talk about all the colleges in detail now one by one the so last day i was talking about university of delhi they have an entrance exam if you want to apply for the bms program the top colleges which fall under delhi university you have shahid uh, shahid chukdev keshav mahavidyalaya deen dayal pade there are a lot of uh, good colleges that you can apply to delhi universities uh, via the dujat so whatever colleges or the universities that we see currently on screen uh, if you want to go to any of these colleges you will have to write an entrance exam okay now let's talk about the programs offered at various campuses you know and the number of seats which they have so first talking about nmims so nmims uh, the main uh, campus the most sorted campus is the mumbai one the oldest one they have various programs like bba branding or advertisement then they have bcom honors bsc finance and bsc in economics they have a liberal arts program also now firstly for getting into the bba bsc finance bsc in economics and bcom honors course the criteria is you need to have 60% aggregate second important criteria is maths is compulsory or statistics so if you haven't taken maths or stats you cannot apply to bba bcom honors uh, bsc finance and bsc in economics so for this four courses maths is compulsory okay however if a student has not taken maths he or she can apply to the branding and the advertisement course the liberal arts program they have an international business course also so overall the number of seats are around 2760 wherein the maximum number of seats are for the bba program it is 600 seats now for these four courses bba bsc finance bsc in economics and bcom honors the selection criteria is just their test score they will not take your interview there is no round two so you just have to clear the entrance exam get the marks and take the seats that's it now all these exams that we just saw the entrance exams the testing cycle guys is every year in the month of may june now it may vary or change depending upon the pandemic situation because since uh, 2020 and 21 all the exams got delayed because of the you know lockdown or the situation not good outside a lot of other parameters but till 2019 the general trend used to be uh, crisis used to start its exams early uh, first sunday of may used to be symbiosis second sunday was used to be your npat around mid of may used to be your i am in the rent followed by rotak exam so may june typically is the testing cycle across the various uh, entrance exams then symbiosis they also have a range of uh, product uh, sorry courses you have the bba program then they offer you a bba in it program as well then they have economics liberal arts mass comm now here if a student has not taken maths you can go for the bba program but at nmims without maths you cannot apply for the bba program so symbiosis is okay with that the age should be 20 years below 50% marks is required in 12th grade now here the selection criteria is a bit different apart from the test score which is your entrance exam they take a vat and pi pi means personal interview vat is a writing assessment test they give you a topic you have to write x words on the topic based on your performance overall the shortlisting is done again a very good uh, college in pune the best campus is the pune one they also have multiple campuses as one is hyderabad one is delhi also but the best sorted campus is the pune one mumbai maharashtra basically then christ bangalore they also have a lot of campuses they have a camp three campus in bangalore they have a campus in lavasa as well which is close to pune the programs are bba honors bba fnib finance and international business finance and accounting the entrance exam is known by the name cuet christ university entrance test the number of seats they never disclose uh after you clear the entrance exam not clear the moment you write an entrance exam you will have to appear for this skill assessment which is micro presentation they give you a topic you have to speak on that topic for uh, 90 seconds and then you have your personal interview so based on your performance across all three uh, sections your final shortlisting is done normally crisis takes place every year in four rounds there are four you have to apply for rounds and accordingly the shortlisting is done 
you may apply it you can apply to all the four rounds or if you just want to apply for one round you can do that also so at christ university bangalore they are they have a range of course to offer you know they have close to 170 175 plus courses so for more detail i will request you guys to you know to visit the website so they'll give you the range of the courses which are offered at the uh, campus in saint javiers uh, if somebody is planning to go to saint javiers for the bms course you will have to write an entrance exam saint javiers entrance test the weightage is 60 40 40% weightage is for the 12th score and 60% weightage is for the entrance exam higher acads and a high percentage in the entrance exam there are high chances that you will be shortlisted for the program the number of seats for open category are around 24 25 uh, rest of the seats are reserved then nirma university uh, it's a, again a five year flagship program which they have bba and the mba program they don't have their own entrance they undertake the admission via the uh, i am indoor entrance uh, test then delhi universities top colleges shai chukdev keshav mahavidyalay din dayal upadhyay is the colleges you know for the bms and the other programs they have a 65 35 weightage 65% weightage is for the entrance and 35% weightage is for the 12 score the entrance exam is dujat dujat this is bachelor of economics finance and accounting okay then i am indoor so overall if i take the number of seats across all the five iams there are 540 seats 150 each in your rotak and indoor Now, all the IIMs have a different selection criteria, as we can see, guys, currently on screen. So, I am in the the fifty percent weightage is for the entrance test, followed by thirty five percent weightage on the interview, and they also take a VAT writing assessment test. So, don't worry. Apart from the entrance preparation, IIMs will also be helping you for the further rounds, like taking your mock interviews, preparing you guys for your VAT preparation as well. Eligibility. below 20 years of age 60 per aggregate you need to have in class 10th and 12th okay so that's the selection criteria uh, for i am in the rotta granchi bodh gaya and jammu now this is of the prime interest for all the students as to what do we actually have to study for the various entrance exam and what is the paper pattern so if you see for du jat guys the, the delhi university entrance test overall 100 questions to be answered in 120 minutes you will be tested on maths english logical reasoning and gk now gk is there in du jat there is no gk in indore there is no gk in rotak neither gip mat neither npat sct symbiosis have gk christ has gk and st javiers also have gk section so don't worry we will be also coaching you for the gk sections as well now if you see majorly across any of the entrance exams these three ex uh, sections are a part of all english maths and logical reasoning however we don't have logical reasoning in the ipmat indor paper the ipmat indor paper is on three sections one is quantitative aptitude short answers sa then quantitative aptitude mcqs and your verbal ability mcq so these are the three sections in in so there are 30 this is 10 questions this is 20 questions and this is 30 questions so put together 60 questions to be answered in 90 minutes there is a extra time limit of 30 minute each so you get 30 minutes for each section over here and there is plus 4 and minus 1 negative one if you add up a question if it is wrong Minus one. However, there is no negative marking for the short answers. Okay. And Pat, if I talk about how many of you are aiming for NMIMS BBA program or any other program here, can I get few raise of hands in the chat box? Anybody aiming here? Okay. Now, if I talk about NMIMS uh, and Pat, the paper is out of one twenty questions and the time is only. 100 minutes there is no sectional timing there is no negative marking in npat you get plus 1 for every correct answer so npat guys is out of 120 marks okay ideal score required to get into any of the courses should be around 78 80 plus so if you start getting that many marks in the mocks you are definitely in for a 
program that you have selected while filling up the form. So that's the paper pattern, guys. We'll be teaching you. You'll be getting all the required uh, study material for English, maths, logical reasoning, as well as general awareness. We'll talk about the content also. Now, the IPM program curriculum. So the IPM program in the is spread it across 15 terms over five years. So it's, you know, three uh, semesters every year. IPM is in two parts, dual degree. The first three years is not a BBA degree, guys. So the program at IIM Indore is not a BBA MBA program. It is called BA, Foundations of Management. Okay. And the last two years is MBA, the hardcore MBA program at your uh, IIM Indore. Now, the three major pillars that you'll be learning at the IIM Indore program is based on economics, math and statistics, and the humanities. So, they have mentioned in detail the content, what exactly are they going to teach you across these three years on the website. But these are the three major pillars on which your entire curriculum will be based on. It's, it's a very nice program. We'll be learning a lot of things. It's completely profiled. You will be completely improving your profiles, you know, over the three years. So not, not only from the academic side, there are a lot of other things that you will be doing at the campus, you know participating in events, being a part of a community, a placement cells, a lot of other things are there at the campus. Yes, Lavya? So what is the difference between BA and BBA? See, uh, in the BBA, BA foundation course, it's a very common misconception among the students that, you know, uh, we'll be learning the management subjects. So in the foundation course at I am Indore, no management subjects are taught. They'll be teaching you economics, mathematics, and statistics and humanities-based subjects. Whereas BBA, Lavia, it's more or less, you know, if I talk about NMIMS BBA. So NMIMS BBA program will basically cover 50 to 60% of your MBA curriculum. You'll be learning finance also, marketing also, statistics also, economics also. So it's a mixed program across. So all the management subjects will be taught earlier in the BBA program. In IPM BBA program, the IM, uh, fund, uh, the IPM uh, graduation plus the MBA program, there will be very less exposure of the management subjects. Okay, so BBA is roughly, I will say, a mini MBA. Roughly 50-60% curriculum will be over. Now, if you want to know, you know, what are the subjects that NMIMS will be teaching you uh, in BBA three years? I have mentioned in detail semester wise also. So, what are we going to learn in SEM one, SEM two, SEM three, SEM four, SEM five, SEM six? Okay, sir. Okay, now IPM is becoming popular. Yes, every year the number of students applying to IPM uh, is increasing over the years. Plus, uh, it is in the news that few more IMs will start with this five-year integrated program. The exposure is huge, guys. The feedback has been really excellent from the students who have already passed out or who are currently at the campus. Network of the brightest mind, that is very important. The peer group is highly ambitious. Of course, you know the brand value. So, the best part about the IIM Indore program is if we crack the entrance exam right after 12th, we'll be directly coming out as a postgraduate with an MBA degree from IIM Indore, you know. So I will not have to write any entrance exams if I'm uh, planning uh, to you know, stay ahead in the course and I'm not planning to go to a better IIM. Yes, if you want to go to a better IIM, let's say the better IIMs in Indore is the Ahmedabad, Bangalore and Calcutta, you have an exit option. So now the program offers you you can exit the program after completing your education. Of course, if the plan is to go overseas for higher studies or maybe if you're planning to apply to the better IIMs, you can do that. So you'll get the foundation management degree and you can take the next step ahead. The entrance exams of the new IBM program has less academic rigor. Cost is almost comparable with the other universities. What other universities charge is more or less same. As of now, a wider location choices. You have five location choices. You have Rathak, you have Indore, then both guys, Jammu and Ranchi. Earlier, there was no exit option. Since 2018, I believe, they have off started offering this exit option that you can exit the course after three years. Then, apart from the academic side, there are a lot of internships programs, uh, you know, at offered at the IIM Indore. You have to do a social internship at the end of two years. A, a mandatory business internship at the end of the four year means after you complete your uh, MBA part one, the first year, I mean to say, you'll have to do a business internship also. There is a rural, uh, rural engagement program, but there's a foreign exchange program also 
at the end of the third year and the fifth year obviously there are some uh, clauses to that you have to fulfill some parameters and based on that the foreign exchange program is offered so the learning is huge guys not only on the academic side lot of other things to do as i told you it completely focuses on building the profile you can be a part of the ngos any academic institutions a part of the committees you know so the exposure is very high guys post ipm opportunities option to leave ipm with a foundation degree now this is very important this option of sabbatical is available at i am in the right present not all the students get this option what is a sabbatical option first you have, you have already been shortlisted for the five year program based on some clauses some terms and conditions you can take a sabbatical after three years of your graduation a sabbatical of 2 years maybe in that 2 years if you want to work with a startup for 2 years you can do that maybe you want to gain some corporate experience you can do that post to complete <coughs> sorry your sabbatical of 2 years you can come back and complete your mba program so that's the sabbatical option available at i am indore not for all the students plus if the plan is to have your own startup after 5 years you can do that or you want to start your career with the corporate uh, you can do that because lot of recruiting companies visit the campus for the final placements or after completing your masters if the plan is to do a phd you can also do that placement so this is the placement start guys for 2020 the average ctc was around 22.9 i'm talking about the five year program after completing five years the highest ctc was this this was a median and close to 160 plus recruiting companies you know were there for the final selection this is 2020 2021 has improved over 2020 so you can check on the website the placement start for 16 21 batch what companies visited what was the average package offered uh, were there companies uh, in the marketing domain finance domain so they have mentioned in detail on the website and now the competition very important so i i commonly get this question uh, sir uh, how many students appear the test when should we start so let's see the numbers around 20 to 25 000 students write the entrance exams now if 5000 students start early you know if they are very serious about uh, targeting these colleges some of the students start right away in 11th grade some of the students start when they enter the 12th grade or they are when they are about to complete your grade uh, 11 around 900 students get a pi vat call pi is your personal interview vat is a writing assessment test so the total number of seats are 150 guys so if you see the ratio roughly for every one seat six students are being called 1 is to 6 is the ratio so yes if we are if we want to be in the race ahead we will have to start the preparation on an urgent basis so yes start focused preparation early to stay ahead in the race now how what do we offer at ims you know how will the preparation journey be planned at ims so these are the components of the ims test prep we believe in this pedagogy of lpt approach learn practice test learn practice test so let us see what do we have in the learn module so the moment you enroll at home you will be delivered 18 books which is in the form of concept books workbooks and the part b books so concept book guys has all the theory explained of the chapter in detail with solved examples and followed by the exercises workbook again exercise and this is called the part b books post your completion of all the modules you are supposed to start with the practice books so the total number of classes are around 75 plus uh, which is one class is of 2 hours and the total program is of 150 plus hours. hours only the concept classes there are lot many things that will take place you know in the end of the year 22 and the start of the year 23 on the online front guys we have 150 plus concept videos so at any point of time if you want to revise a particular chapter the concept videos are available let's say you want to revise permutation combinations you want to revise inequality so you can just go to the learn tab go to the concept video and watch the video then 50 plus recap videos this is in the form of question and answers of faculty taking a question in lr in english or maybe math and and uh, as we saw gk is a part of few exams so we will have a specific tab on the my ms portal wherein you will be getting the gk quizzes 
you get the monthly bulletins gk snippets so all the content is available on the uh, ims portal the content is huge it takes you know you have statics dk also you have current affairs also monthly bulletin so all these resources related to gk prep are on the uh, my ims portal apart from that every sunday you know from 6:45 to 7:30 pm 45 minutes we have a session on gk so all the weekly updates you know we take it in the uh, lecture which is conducted every sunday so roughly four sessions every month will be on gk then just to give you an idea we have divided the entire curriculum in four modules there are four modules 1 2 3 4 so as soon as you complete module 1 you will be asked to take the module test so that is the meaning of periodic module test then once your entire concept classes are over your all the four modules are over and your periodic module test are done then we uh, start with the practice classes which is another 70 classes into 2 hours each so close to 140 hours of practice sessions will take place wherein the level of difficulty will be increased across all the sections so this is after we do the four modules then the the flow would be you join right now the curriculum will be over by june july 22 then the practice sessions will start which will go till january of the next year then you get a boards break then immediately post the boards break we run this 80 hours of exam specific workshops which is solving of the previous year's papers of indoor rotok and pat and any other exam then we keep doing this test specific strategy sessions one is in the form of live mock solving so yesterday we had a session for the bba 22 students wherein npat 2019 paper was solved live so we keep doing live mock solving for the students then how to analyze a mock is the next section a session that we do then we keep running uh, you know the higher maths session the level of difficulty higher level difficulty questions specifically for students targeting i am indoor so all the sessions test specific related will also be a part of your curriculum then finally the testing part so after you have solved the, the material and this is the online topic wise test i forgot to mention on the portal we'll be getting 80 sectional test so you'll be getting a test on all the chapters Tests, speed, English, maths, logical reasoning, in the form of you know timed test wherein you have a proper marking system. Let's say on a 25 questions, you attended 10, now you get some wrong. Based on that, you get the final score. And overall, you'll be getting 90 mocks, 90, wherein uh, for indoor you have around 15 mocks, then you have 10 mocks for uh, NPAT, and that's the spread of all these 90 mocks. That is how we have planned this. how to access and it is already on the my ims portal love it so are you student already enrolled in the live club? classes is yes, there live classes they are live classes so they take place every uh, sunday in case you miss a session love it the sessions are recorded okay so right now guys as we know uh, the situation in mumbai is uh, we are not allowed to run the cent- uh, classes at the centers so we are completely running the batches online so if a student wants to join online right now he can join us in case he misses out any particular session the sessions are recorded and you can view the recordings so that is a product offering uh, in terms of offline books the online test the topic wise test the concept classes the practice classes the workshops and the mocks then this is a study plan uh, that we recommend to the students obviously we can customize this based on the preference of the student what time the candidate has so accordingly we help the student to make a customized study plan uh, pertaining to what exams he or she is planning to appear for so this is the ideal recommendation ideal flow of study at ims you attend a live live class post a live class you will watch the concept videos if you feel that i still need to some brush up my you know i am still not clear about a particular concept you can watch the concept video then you will ideally solve the concept book exercise followed by the workbook then get your doubts clear now at ims we offer you this uh, one to one uh, doubt solving which is specific uh, city based so mumbai here we are doing this one to one doubt solving we have a dedicated uh, number you can just call up and book the uh, doubt solving session with the mentor then you are supposed to solve the topic wise test once your modules is over you will take the module test then solve the part b books and as and when the mocks are announced you should take the mocks 
So it is not about that you are done with the uh, module test. Immediately you will take the mock test. Specific dates will be announced for the mocks. The mock window will be open. In those windows, you will take the mocks. Now, this is one of the sample uh, uh, case that uh, we just uh, have made for students. Let's say if a student is in module three, so ideally what he should have done. He should have done his concept book solving, workbook solving, topic-wise test. He should have taken the module test one and two so that he is able to see his rank in the rank window. Then he can uh, ask his doubts, finish the doubts. Point of action is continue with the flow, work on the mock analysis. And next is he can start exploring the previous year's papers. Now we can just customize this based on the you know, student, what is the student currently doing? Now this is a, one of the important uh, feature at IMS. So uh, whenever a student enrolls at IMS, the student will be assigned a particular mentor. So that mentor will be the direct point of contact to help the student make a study plan, you know, uh, make him understand the colleges that the student is aspiring to apply for. Maybe if he has any uh, general doubts regarding to the college application or maybe uh, he needs the help in form filling, he wants to review a mock test, he wants to discuss the uh, module test, so anything you can discuss with your mentor on a one-on-one -on -one basis. So the process is very simple. You just have to log into the portal, book a session, the student gets a Google Meet, the mentor gets a Google Meet, and they can connect on the uh, uh, Google Meet itself. And any exam last minute strategies and all those things will be discussed with the mentor. So that mentor guys will be the direct point of contact for the student. That you'll have to check with the center row one. I am saying it is there in that, that center also. Row. Okay. Why don't you just call up the center once and check this, please? Okay. Now, uh, we have this concept of doubt solving on a one basis. We are doing it exclusively. Right now, we are doing it for Mumbai. So, you can just call up the number and, you know, uh, book your one-to-one -one doubt solving session. If, let's say, there are 10 to 12 questions that are already there for you, you are not able to understand those questions, you can just uh, book call on this number and take the doubts ahead. Other students, you know, they normally raise their doubts either in the Telegram group and they ask their mentors so the mentors will connect them with the centers and your doubts will get resolved. So don't worry about the doubts, guys. Then uh, this is the uh, plan of action for the students uh, who will be enrolling with us right now. So let us see the plan of action. So whoever enrolls right now, the ideal target is we complete the entire four modules by July 22. All the four modules with the module test. So we'll be also taking the module test here. Then post the modules are over, we will start with the practice classes. Okay, that will start from first week of August and going till January 23. So the curriculum will get over by July. August, we start with the practice classes till July, uh, sorry, January 23. In between, guys, you will be starting with your mocks. So the mock test will start from August. So by this year end only, at least you will be writing four mocks of indoor, four mocks of Rotak, and four mocks of NPAT. Then next year, February, March will be your boards break because we want to prepare for your boards and take the boards in March. Typically, March, April 1st week latest is the exam board cycle. Then post the boards immediately. We start with the intensive exam specific workshops, March onwards and onwards. Wherein, as I told you, there'll be around 40 plus workshops exclusively uh, based on previous year's papers or a specific topic, how to take a mock, all those live sessions, exam specific workshops will be conducted from March and onwards. So that, and April onwards, we can start with the focused mock tests. So April till May, we will be just taking mocks, reviewing the mock and all those things. And by May end or May, uh, June, you are ready for your final test. So normally every exams, as I told you before, are held in the month of May, June. So that will be the flow of, uh, you know, uh, preparation at uh, the IMS. So the mentors will guide you. What resources are you supposed to solve uh, post the class? When should you take the module test? When should you take your mock number one? So all those guidance will be uh, given to you by the mentors that have been assigned to you. Now, this is the upcoming IPM BBA 23 online batch. We are starting the batch on 25th of January, guys. It will be a four-day batch, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, Thursday, sorry, and Friday, 4.30 to 6.30, two hours class. So to know more, you can visit our website, www.imsindia.com and slash programs.
to find the low nearest center where do you stay you can just go on to the website again locate the center and for any more query about the program you can just call upon this number they will do the needful for you eight six five five triple zero four six seven maybe if you want to take a demo class also you can just call up this number so we can share the demo class for this uh, 25th january maybe you can take a couple of demo classes and then we can decide upon about the course then also uh, you can enroll for the ipm bba zero free program wherein we will not be charging you anything it will be open for a week in this program you will be getting few videos concept videos few test you know a uh, few topic wise test so you can just explore our entire portal you'll get an understanding what are the various offerings so this will be just you know 10% of what we actually offer so maybe you can just enroll for this uh, program by calling on that number and uh, just see how the portal works what are the offerings we have on the uh, portal and if you want to connect with the nearest center you can uh, call on this number and you can also book a one to one counseling session also okay and to stay in touch with us you can uh, join on our uh, you know channel the youtube channel ims careers after 12th wherein we keep posting the videos about the entrance exams the form filling uh, sessions uh, the live mock solving sessions so all the sessions we keep uploading on this uh, so you can subscribe to this channel ims career after 12th to uh, stay in touch with ims students who are currently here you have guys that you want to ask so apart from the entrance part guys we will be also helping you in the next preparation part which is in the form of vat preparation the mock preparation uh, as soon as when the exams notification are out we, we will be notifying you guys in the whatsapp group and the telegram channel we will also help you assist you in filling the forms also so we do form filling guideline sessions uh, live on youtube we share the link you can just watch the video before you start filling up the form so you don't worry you will not be you know missing out on any uh, form filling uh, part also so everything will be notified to you yes any questions anybody has anyone so rohan you are a part of its center do you know your who your mentor is rohan so you mentioned your center okay i saw your uh, center have you been in touch with your mentor yet rohan garg no so please please call up the center ask who your mentor is uh, so they will do the uh, needful in that case they will assign you a mentor if you have if you have haven't spoken or to your center since uh, so many months please get in touch with your mentor and they will guide you and make a proper study plan and help you the same okay so do it on an urgent basis maybe today only you can just call up your center so mridula you are already enrolled for a particular batch right for the bba 23 mridula or no yes na so uh, your batch has reached which module mridula mridul sorry are you aware about that your batch has reached which module now so you will not have to uh, pay anything because you are already an i just am i am a student so you will just have to drop an email to the center and ask for a change of batch so they will do the need to okay mridul so if you have uh, missed out lot of sessions for the batch that you've already been a part of Uh, so there are two options either you can watch the recordings and then do the prep or you may change your batch okay mridul so for that you will have to just drop an email to the center that you have enrolled they will do the needful any more questions anybody has if not then we will end here uh, thank you so much everyone for uh, being a part of this session so we have already shared the number so if you need any more help uh, from ims you can get in touch with the uh, number and uh, then we can take it ahead okay thank you so much everyone uh, please take care stay safe have a great day bye bye everyone